Raquel. Sarah, thank you very much about the Brazilian election. The State Department repeated today that the commitment to promote human rights and democracy uh, will continue to guide the relationship with Brazil. However, the Brazilian president elected Bolsonaro has made very controversial comments about minorities, the opposition defended the military dictatorship in Brazil. My question is if it, the White House plans to address these and ask assurances from the government, the incoming government in Brazil, that they will protect human rights and democracy in Brazil. And another question, what do you think about these comparisons that a lot of people say? Let me that address the first thing. Sure. First, we promote human rights all over the world. Uh, we value our long-standing relationship with Brazil. We want to continue to be able to work with them. Um, we'll see what happens from there. Sarah. Sarah, can Sarah, I, can I just, okay, so what do you think about these comparisons? A lot of people are calling Bolsonaro the Trump of the tropics. And if President Trump plans to invite Bolsonaro to the White House or if he has any plans to go to Brazil anytime soon, maybe attend Bolsonaro's inauguration. There's only one Donald Trump in my opinion. Stephen, go ahead. I'd like to follow up on John's question about the caravan. Uh, 